Hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys, girls, children of all ages. Welcome back, Team Sons. Uh, today is Saturday, August 5th, or sorry, September 5th, and uh, today is actually my new weighing day. Uh, it'll be also be uh, next Saturday as well, uh, not Wednesday. Um, Right now, my uh, my job shift starts at 8 o'clock, so it's a little bit too early to do a video, get it uploaded onto YouTube. And uh, so this week and next week will definitely be on Saturday. This week being sat today. Um, next week will be Saturday. The week after that, I'm not quite sure. I might try to go back to Wednesday, but I'm not exactly sure if I will or not. Uh, will kind of depend on whether or not I have enough time. All right. Uh, so let's go weigh myself. All right. Uh, here we go. Now before I do, uh, I'm going to let you know that I have weighed myself three times already. Uh, once last night, or yesterday, before I went to bed. Uh, and I weighed three six, or sorry, 213.6. And then I weighed myself earlier this morning and I was 214.6. And then I weighed myself a little earlier and I was 214.0. So I have no idea what what I am, I don't know what's going on, if something's going on with my scale, um, to make it go all different times, so, let's see what, uh, what I am, and, uh, yeah. let's see if we are the same, or lost, or gained, or whatever, I'm wearing my normal, uh, weigh-in clothes, so, that at least was staying consistent. Hey, right. last week I think it said two sixteen point zero as well. Um, uh, when I check the when I check the chart, I'll I'll, I'll uh, just make sure. All right, uh, and as always, I'm gonna do it twice just to make sure. Then say something different. As I mentioned, the scale's been kind of wacky today, so I don't know what it's going to say. 216.0. All right. Which is about two pounds more than when I have tried it before. Uh, before. So my clothes apparently weigh two pounds. All right, so I'll put that away. And I'm going to cut heat now, and uh, when you see me next, I'll be downstairs in the basement uh, to um, put in my chart. All right, so I'm just checking the weight that I've been, and uh, I believe it was 216.0. And for the last two weeks, that's what I've been. So this is my third week being 216.0. I'm hoping I haven't plateaued. Uh, I have a long way to go. 52 weeks, I knew there was going to be ups and downs, uh, and uh, which is definitely uh, a little bit of a setback, I guess. So anyways, I'm um, going to put it in, and uh, yeah, so, uh, it's not August 3rd, it's August 5th, but I, when I started doing this, I thought it was going to be Wednesdays all, all the time. And uh, now I'm doing it Saturday, so it's actually August 5th, or September, not August, not East saying it's September, I guess. All right, so 216.0, which is right there, and the marker doesn't seem to be working. All right, it's not working. Let me just see if I can find more. Another one in here or something. Uh, 
All right, let's try this one. All right. This. Did you find it? Yeah. Okay. So there we go. What? And mark it in down here. This to help the pen part was it? 216.0. Alright. Well we know that's a zero. It doesn't really look like one, but we'll we'll figure it out. Um it's 2 16.0. And, uh, yeah, so I don't know if I'll be, like, next Saturday day will be my next way in for sure. Uh, the reason why I am doing it Saturdays, well, actually, you know what, I, bar I said it in the last video, if you want to know what the reason why, go check that out. It, uh, uh, it says on my last video why. Uh, videos coming up, I have one either today or tomorrow coming up, uh, other than this one and i might have two others so and after i've done those two i might put them together as one so one uh that's about it uh i did mention this in the last video but i think i edited it out but i don't think i'm going to this time and i do want to mention it uh I know a lot of parents out there, they're very, very, very apprehensive of sending their kids back to school. Uh, as one person puts it, uh, or puts it, um, they feel like they're sending their kids back to school to die. Um, that is kind of how I think teachers are also feeling. But um, I will say that teachers have been doing a fantastic job in trying to create an environment that is the safest for the, your children uh, or kids or whatever you want to call them. Um, uh, yeah, it's just a lot of stuff is being moved out. Um, anything that has a felt bottom or or even side to it uh so like uh, a teacher's chair it's got it's gone uh right now and uh they're moving a lot of stuff out uh bookshelves and desks and uh teacher's desk even uh and um uh, just a lot like er when you go see a class which if your school allows you in, which my school doesn't allow parents in, uh, you'll see that it is very, very empty uh, in there. Uh, and it's just to reduce the amount of things that are touched, that kids could touch and then teachers could touch and pass on um, the situation going on right now. Um, it's almost like it's a bad word now, uh, but it's not. It's a very serious thing. And teachers, uh, principals, superintendents, everybody that's making these decisions are keeping your uh, children's safety as the number one concern. Uh, the first week or two is going to be um, focused on uh, mostly uh, routines and there's also new routines everywhere. Uh, you go uh, to protect your children, uh, so that's going to be like the focus for the first week or two, and um, yeah, so uh, a lot of different things going on, uh, and it's all uh, COVID related to make sure that the uh, transmission of even like other flus and colds and COVID and anything else is at it's very very minimum uh teachers have done all they can to make sure that their classroom is safe uh it has to be approved by the principal who has needed approval by the ministry of health and uh desks are at least uh one meter apart and even when you take your chairs out and back it doesn't even go close to the one behind you or the one beside you there's pexi glass in the classrooms 
So we've done everything that we could do. Um, manipulatives are are a little bit different this year. Uh, usually we just have like big ben bins of just Lego and big bins of just other uh, cubes and stuff like that. Uh, now we're actually have putting them in small little bags and each child will get a, a bag every Monday and hand it in every Friday. Every Friday they'll be sanitized and uh, used the following Monday. So um, that's how it's going to go, at least from my understanding. And that is all assuming nothing uh, comes up. Uh, if uh, the hospitals get overloaded in ICUs and then, you know, schools will close, obviously. But uh, the the teachers have been uh, COVID protecting their, their classrooms uh, the most right now uh, that they can. And uh, grouping uh, will be in cohorts. And uh, so if you are a child is on the red bus or something they'll have a group in their room that are red bus kids and they'll all sit together um unless they have individual desks but for like kindergarten uh if you have a child in the red bus just for example uh all the red bus kids will sit in one area of the classroom divided by the uh, the plexiglass and uh that's about it uh you know all the stuff that we could possibly think of that could transmit uh has we been taken into account and uh also the children just coming into the school will have to sanitize their hands coming into the school and i think as soon as they get into the classroom so within like two minutes they're going to wash their hands twice uh, once with the with the uh, sanitizer and wash, one with actually washing their hands at the sink, um, and that's for every time that they come into the school, even if it's just to go to the bathroom uh, at recess, they'll have to sanitize, they'll have to wash their hands, which they should anyways. Uh, but then they'll go to the bathroom and then wash their hands again and sanitize on the way out. So, a lot of hand washing, hands are going to get red from being dried out and stuff, but you know what, if it's to make us safe from COVID, then so be it. Uh, that's about all, uh, if that's what it takes, that's what it takes, you know. Uh, we want to keep our kids safe. Teachers also want to stay safe themselves, so they have certain areas where they could teach where they're not too close to the kids. And uh, it's going to be a lot different this year. So um, let's hope that it's a good year. Uh, keep your fingers crossed that nothing bad happens. And uh, that we were able to have a full year. Because last year we only had a six-month year. And uh, actually, I think it was a little bit more than six months. Um, I think it was seven, eight. No, seven. I think it was seven. Anyways. Um, so, yeah, that's what we're trying to make sure that... Uh, so, just know that we are trying to keep your kids safe as possible. And uh, then all the measures that we can. Uh, also, uh, the Ministry of Health needs to approve it. Which... Needs, I'm not sure if it's the actual Ministry of Health or the, just the principal says this is what's going on. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> I don't want to make any say anything and then come back and haunt me kind of thing. So I think it's the Ministry of Health, but I'm not sure. So don't mark my words on that. But I'm pretty sure it is. So, um, so that's about it. So, uh, yeah, it's been 216 for the last four weeks. Uh, it was 216.2 and 216.0 for the last three weeks. So let's hope and uh, that by next Saturday it is actually down. Uh, 
I did do my weight three times this morning. I think I already mentioned this, so I'm not going to go again, all through it again. And, uh, yeah, so this video has gone for long enough. It's been about almost 12 minutes, and I've been kind of rambling on and on and on. So I'm going to end it right about now. And uh, so till next time, which might be tomorrow. Uh, stay safe, and I'll see you in the next video. The good Lord willing. Bye.